What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power of Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the Vancouver Canucks re-signing Chris Tanev to a five-year deal worth $22.5 million um, for an average of about $4.5 million per season. A lot of money, obviously, um, but I honestly, he fits in really, really well, as I keep reiterating the word honestly, because I'm lying to you guys. Uh, but, you know, he's a, he's a good fit in that organization. I mean, really a great find out of RIT. I believe they won the Frozen Flow with him the year he was there. He was one and done a college hockey. And then, um, you know, he's been a main fan of Vancouver's blue line uh, for, for a long time. And, you know, I think he's going to help, um, you know, continue to, to develop an offensive game. He's one point off his career high, which is, you know, pretty good. I mean, if he can become a guy that puts up, you know, 20. Five, 30 points a season. This is an absolute steal. And, you know, he plays really well with Alex Adler, a good defensive player, and, uh, you know, just does the little things to help you win hockey games. And, you know, I think his stellar play has been rewarded. You know, good size, good, you know, net front presence. Just, again, um, with the market for defense, but it's like, yeah, I guess that he's worth that. Uh, you know, Brooks Orpik is worth $4.5 million, and the t- a 25-year-old Chris Tanov is worth you know, 4.5, and what do Orpix get? Orpix got 5.5 for five years, so, yeah, Tanev's a better player, more mobile, and, uh, you know, look at Vancouver having a great year this year, after the prognosticators, myself included, uh, picked them to have a pretty pretty dismal season, or picked them to be mediocre, and, uh, you know, they're really playing well, they've got some, some great players, you know, they, they added, you know, uh, Rudy Verbata, Ryan Miller, guys like that. And then, you know, the guys from the organization, Eddie Lack, especially, have stepped up and played some amazing hockey for them. So, you know, so Dean's are, uh, you know, we wrote them off for dead too soon. Or I wrote them off for dead too soon. Sorry to blame anyone else. And, uh, you know, I just think it's been, you know, a really good season for the Canucks. And being able to keep a building block like Tanev in the fold, you know, the, again, money might be a little hefty, but when you look at it, that's the market for, you know, defensemen. You know, no issue with that. So, anyway. That's all I got some sort of power play with CJ on the Vancouver Canucks resigning Chris Tanov. Stay tuned for episodes of the season and beyond. Later, guys.